Now, inflation, it is the number one concern for most Americans right now. From gas and groceries to airfare, real estate, rising prices, they are hitting while it's hard. President Biden, he's looking for ways to offer some sort of relief. Let's start with the first, the price of oil. Now, it's hovering around $104 a barrel. Now, typically, that's a good thing for our region. But paired with historic inflation, you've got yourself a problem. The Biden administration is looking to give people a break wherever they can, and that is why they've zeroed in on the oil and gas industry. And this is where we bring Jonathan Pulasic into the mix to explain what exactly they are considering. Jonathan, what, what does this look like? Hey Tatum, so they've been floating around the idea of an oil and gas windfall tax. But before I go any further, this is separate from the gas tax holiday that the president asked for earlier today. This tax is zeroed in on big oil companies who have had large profits. And here's the thing about this windfall tax. Industry experts say it likely won't have any real impact on consumers like you and me. You could call it somewhat comforting. We've been here before. The Permian Basin Petroleum Association has an idea of the kind of impact an oil and gas windfall tax would have. The, the design is very similar to, to a similar effort uh, offered up and put in place by the Jimmy Carter administration back in 1980 which at that time saw an increase in prices for consumers and a decrease in domestic production. So that's very likely what we would see this time. A decrease in domestic production means an increased reliance on foreign production, resulting in a bigger hit on our wallets. Really all this is going to do is, is hamper domestic energy production, which in turn is going to increase the cost for people at the pump, the cost for people to travel, the cost for people to be able to get goods, the cost be able to, for people to be able to live their lives. Instead of having the federal government trying to correct issues within the oil and gas industry, the market should dictate the cost itself. If you really want to support American independence when it comes to energy, support American energy. That doesn't mean putting a new tax on American energy. That means that when the markets tell the oil and gas industry that your product is worth a negative value, as it did a few years ago, you don't step in. You let the market dictate what the cost is. Robertson saying this policy goes against what the Biden administration has talked about when it comes to supporting U.S. energy. The administration has seemed to, to talk to the public about wanting to support domestic energy development, yet the actions either by the administration through regulatory mandate or through proposed legislation is very much telling the domestic oil and gas industry, we don't want you here. Now, Robertson believes that this type of short-term solution won't provide much long-term relief and will actually make things more difficult on the consumer with increasing costs on things like gas and other goods. Tatum.